ladies and gentlemen, the all new 2020 mid-engine Corvette. design standpoint, the vehicle had to be incredibly beautiful, and at the end of the day, when you step back and look at it, it has to say Corvette. It's part art, so hand sculpting clay, and part digital math-based design. I think a lot of the leadership thought we want to go to mid-engine because it's cool, you know, because the most exotic sports cars in the world were mid-engine, but actually we were doing it because we felt like we were reaching the limit of our performance capability and the architectures that we had. And so we had to do something to move that forward. When I first heard that they were going to make the new Corvette mid-engine, really it was a, a game changer. We're bordering on 70 years of this vehicle. So you have this lineage to it that you have to maintain, but you also have to be willing to grow and take it further. With the mid-engine attributes, you'd have the, the rear weight bias from the engine for better acceleration, performance, and track times, as well as the low forward cal for excellent visibility and the lighter front, which really makes the car fun to drive. Corvette is an emotional driving experience. No matter who you are in life, when you get into a Corvette, you're a superhero. We needed a bespoke transmission, custom designed, for this car, because we have engines that produce massive amounts of torque, so the DCTs that are on the shelf wouldn't stand the Corvette duty cycle. Is you've got a shaft that has your even forward gears, two, four, six, eight, and your odd gears, one, three, five, seven, and you can simultaneously be disengaging one shaft while you're engaging the other one. So it's quicker than a human being could shift a manual transmission. This way you get the lightning fast, less than 100 milliseconds shift when you need it. What if we could do a new definition of a mid-engine sports car, not just for high-performance driving, but to go on trips, adventures, just make the driving to work an experience? Utility of the car has been something we focused on, true, ensuring that we've got a space for people to store luggage or groceries or what have you. So we have a front storage section that's very deep. We've got a trunk in the rear that not only accommodates two bags of golf clubs, but uh, also stows the removable roof panel. Driver mode, which is what most people are used to as tour, sport, track, and weather. Um, my mode and Z mode are actually just two additional modes. Tour, we look at it as a balanced mode that's good at everything. Sport is a little bit more catered toward the spirited driving. Track is all about the response and how the vehicle handles around maximum cornering, maximum acceleration and maximum driver feel of the road. What my mode and Z mode will allow you to do is for the driver to configure it themselves. The design intent of Z mode is for a single use case. You could set up Z mode for that curvy road that you go on every day on the way to work. Click on Z mode, do your curvy road, and then go back to my mode and that's your day. What we wanted to do was kind of go to a three seat strategy. With the GT1 seat, that gives you your perfect everyday kind of driving seating position, comfortable bolsters. The new entry that we have for this one is the GT2. The GT2 seat is really, really an exciting seat. It's a Napa leather. It has most color blocking opportunities. It's a really beautiful form seat. The other side effect of that is it allowed us to really dial up the competition seat. 
So we brought in a new material. It does a couple of things. One, it holds you in, and then the other side of it is it eliminates a little bit more leather because every ounce counts on this vehicle, especially when you're tracking it. When we started designing the interior, we wanted to make sure that it felt uniquely Corvette, but it feels like no Corvette you've ever been in before. We're going from 10 colors to 12 colors. This will be the most we've ever offered. What we're finding is that our consumers want to bring a little bit of their own identity in the car and really want to exemplify who they are and bring their own emotion out. And then the other main point that we did on the interior was the stitching and seatbelts. And this is really giving you a step above black when you go down that path. Drivers can now raise the front of their Corvette almost two inches in less than three seconds with the available front lift. While it can be manually activated, it can also be programmed to remember the GPS locations of up to a thousand obstacles throughout your commute so that you don't, for example, have to remember to activate it every time you arrive home to a steep driveway. The new Stingray will have the Z51 package. It includes a long list of tra track focused features like performance tires, larger brakes, electronic limited slip differential, more aggressive gearing in the transmission, additional cooling capacity, and aerodynamic content. The aero content includes additional brake cooling and a front splitter and rear spoiler that actually create full vehicle downforce and confidence-inspiring balance on the track. With more weight on the rear axle, the electronic limited slip differential is more effective than ever, giving the Stingray the optimum handling balance through every corner and the ability to put power down like never before on corner exit. The available performance traction management has been refined for greater acceleration and more consistency across a wider range of surface conditions. I'm just scratching the surface of what this vehicle does, can do, and will do. Many of our features are enabled by our new digital vehicle platform. This new electrical architecture sends signals much faster, provides state-of-the-art cybersecurity and over-the-air reflash capability. We are introducing our second generation of the performance data recorder, which will now have a database of track start finish lines. You'll be able to do point-to-point -point recordings and can even be set to auto record like a dash cam. Of course, all the video is high definition. I'll talk about the beating heart of the Corvette, the engine. In a world quickly migrating to forced induction, small displacement engines, we are bucking the trend and continuing to advance the development of our famous small block V8. There's simply no substitute for the immediate responsiveness and the sound emanating from this technological masterpiece we will be the only remaining naturally aspirated V8 in the segment. We are calling it the LT2, and its displacement remains 6.2 liters. But that's about all that is carryover about it. With the performance exhaust, it was recently SAE certified at 495 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque, making this the most powerful Corvette Stingray ever. For the first time, the Stingray comes with a standard, integrated, engine-mounted, dry sump lube system. The system has three separate scavenging pumps and a very compact reservoir mounted on the front of the engine. The low-profile oil pan reduces mass and lets us mount the whole engine lower in the chassis than we've ever done before. The oil cooler has even more capacity. The bottom line is this a new lube system has been absolutely bulletproof during our testing at tracks like VIR, the Nürburgring, and our own Milford Road Course. That engine is paired to our first eight-speed dual-clutch transmission, or DCT. This features a very innovative electronic transmission range selector, a masterpiece of engineering art and design that will become a benchmark for the industry. The DCT provides lightning-fast shifts and excellent power transfer. Simply put, the DCT shifts gears faster and better than any human can. It offers a spirited and connected feel of a manual and the premium driver driving comfort in an automatic. It truly feels like you're getting the best of both worlds. 
We've set the DCT up with a very low first gear to leverage our additional traction at the rear to get the car off the line very quickly. Gears two through six are closely spaced and keep the engine near the power peak on the track. Its tall seventh and eighth gears make for easy long distance cruising with low mechanical stress and excellent fuel economy. The LT2 engine and the DCT in combination with this new architecture make the new Stingray a very quick car. We are seeing zero to 60 times under three seconds. You heard that right. Z51 Stingray under three seconds. That puts the Stingray in the company of some of the world's quickest cars and in our own history only beaten by our 755 horsepower ZR1. Now, I've talked about a lot of changes, uh, but the truth is we have not changed the essence of Corvette. Corvette is all about freedom and the call of the open road. It is a designed in America, built in America, road-going private jet with first-class seating for two that will take you places you never thought you would go. In short, the Corvette is an attainable dream car. That has been true for 66 years, and the 2020 Stingray makes that truer than ever. I hope you like what you've seen so far, and I encourage you to have a closer look in the next few months. The 2020 Chevrolet Corvette is going where no Corvette has gone before, and we're all thrilled to ride along. This new Corvette with its mid-engine configuration has always been part of Corvette's destiny, and it's the Corvette version of a supercar that we've all wanted to see for so long. Corvette has always been about beautiful design, leading technology, amazing performance, at an unbelievable value. I know many of you are wondering where the new Corvette will be priced. Yes. While we're not ready to announce all the pricing details, no, 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 hang on, hang on. What I can share with you tonight is this. When the 2020 Corvette Stingray goes on sale in the US, it will start at less than $60,000. So that's pretty, pretty great. Thank you, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this is what Chevrolet and Corvette's all about, right? I mean, uh, this is what our engineers and our teams strive for. Where else can you get a supercar that goes zero to 60 in less than three seconds for this kind of money. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Now, our customers can reserve their 2020 Stingray today. And we've got a new system called New Reserve Now Program that is live on Chevy.com. So Reserve Now Program, it's a new program that Barry and our IT team and our vehicle sales service and marketing team has put together and it's incredible. Or, of course, you can go to your preferred Chevrolet dealer. So um, that's a great, great thing. And it's, it's a configurator. And you can actually look at the car. You can see the car. You can price the car. And it's something that we haven't had before. So thanks for, for doing that to our whole team that has uh, done that. It's, it's fantastic. So um, thank you for, for doing that, Barry, and the team. It's, it's great. So we can do that live right now. But I got to tell you, we are just getting started with Corvette. If you are one of those who like and enjoy driving, you owe it to yourself to try this car.